This is my village. It conforms to the idea of the English rural riddle. It's nestled in the rolling hills on the edge of Salisbury Plain. When the sun shines and the birds sing, it's easy to see and feel its beauty and its natural tranquility and to understand our connection with this landscape. It's a place where we live and where we socialise. The landscape gives us a connection to our everyday lives, the changing seasons and the cycles of life. Its pastures and fields with its patterns and ribbons remind us of the food on our table and the milk in our tea. You can often feel that connection, the light, the colours and the open spaces all install a feeling of oneness with your immediate environment. This landscape also has a very different side. The day after I moved to the village, I awoke to the sights and sounds of warfare, of cannon fire and machine guns in the distance, flares and smoke drifting across the hillside, planes and helicopters overhead, some were carrying tanks and armoured vehicles. The military manoeuvres are often seen and heard from our homes. Most of the surrounding area is owned by the military. The landscape is peppered with roads and lanes that lead to dead ends, where access by the public is pro pro Less than three miles away is another village. It was abandoned in 1943, when the inhabitants were forced to leave as the military took over. Today, the contrast between these two villages is substantial. Its surrounding landscape is vast open grasslands. This human connection is the burnt out tanks bomb craters and the tank tracks in the mud. The village is cold and empty. The landscape is dark and barren. It evokes the feelings of emptiness, loss and the darker side of human nature. These two very different and contrasting landscapes sit side by side and yet they're very separate. To me it shows that places aren't always what they seem and that you never know what's on the opposite side of the hill.